Good Thursday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. Several waves of low pressure are working through the eastern Gulf of Alaska at this point, and after recent days of cool and dry mornings after a wet period last week, Juneau and the region around it will continue to see dense fog. A dense fog advisory is posted until noon on Friday. Visibility could be under a quarter of a mile. Expect some impacts for marine and aviation interests there. It could slow you down a bit and uh, create some hazardous travel conditions if you're trying to work through that area. Again, a dense fog advisory around Juneau until noon on Friday. Looking northward, you can see waves of low pressure also working across the Alaska Range. That is kicking up a few areas of light snow across the interior and over the Alaska Range itself. Much drier conditions further west toward the coast from Kotzebue Sound to Seward Peninsula and the YK Delta tonight. Expect a cool and clear sky there. Blowing and drifting snow across the Brooks Range should be expected there. No advisories or warnings out right now, but visibility may drop occasionally. Uh, look for areas of fog across the Arctic coast. A barrow has been uh, fairly foggy around the region there today. Snow showers will continue across the Bering Sea and St. Paul and St. George should both expect more of the same. Expect rain and snow showers for parts of the Alaska Peninsula with low pressure well south of Sand Point. We'll get a little bit of a break from actual low pressure circulations working over the state as we go into Friday. High pressure in fact sets up across the northern parts of the Northwest Territories and will keep the air moving briskly across some parts of the Brooks Range. Watch for pockets of blowing and drifting snow there. Otherwise, fog is back for the Arctic coast and pockets of snow will continue across South Central's higher terrain. Uh, periods of rain and snow for Prince William Sound, but Juneau may see some sunshine and that could help to improve a little bit of the fog perhaps if things are lucky. Out across the south and west, rain and snow showers will continue for the Alaska Peninsula heading into the beginning of the weekend. Snow showers for the YK Delta. A little bit of clearing around Norton Sound and the southern Seward Peninsula, including Nome, maybe even Unalakleet, but just inland and up the river along the Yukon. Expect some light snow to fall there. Low pressure will continue south of the Aleutians, and with that, the storm track stays just out of reach for most of Alaska, with the main focus for stormy activity being across the eastern Gulf and the Pacific Northwest with widespread wind and rains there well south of the Panhandle. The rain may work itself northward into southeast by the end of the weekend. With Alaska statewide weather, this is meteorologist Dave Snyder.